everyone and welcome to another TWM12 video and this match was well, going to be a replay of the Gruber Curve first and a match that I've done. Yeah I tried to reskin this here, well tried to reskin it and to be honest that Aslium mod isn't working out well. It's, it's giving me quite bad ping in some aspects. Keeps on causing it to jump up. Also it gives me some random FPS drops for some weird fucking reason, I don't know why. It's just one of them, it's just one of them things. Up to yeah, it's recording, so yeah, well, it's a replay, so it's really weird to ping at minus 35 or some shit like that. But, that's trap that I hit is fucking Yoda much. Anyways, this match it was quite an interesting one for me in this curve first. It's one of the, well, one of the first matches in ages since I played this shit. I've mainly been playing my Minotaur and my Yamato because, holy good fuck, they're good at making credits. I love them shits more than anything. No matter the credits you make, are standing like 600k a match. Then the Missouri make like a million credits if you really push yourself per game. It's insane how much money that thing makes. Now, as you can see, I'm pushing. Well, I'm helping A and my group occur first. Well, I plan to help A, but it seems to be a bit. I, when I went, when I thought of it, I didn't, I didn't think it was a good idea to be honest. I was expecting to get torqued right off the dot by the enemy. And especially that they're gearing, I was expecting it to cut across, but didn't happen. Kabrosk wasn't expecting much from it. Benson, it was tedious, but we'll come back, we'll come to them their ships later on. Now the Neptune, it was, a pain, it was a bit of a pain in the ass later on. But. Nothing that the Curvers can't handle and the team can't handle really. Come on, get. I, I hate this ship for turning. It's so fucking slow. It's like trying to turn a brick. Well, yeah, she is. A brick's more agile. A lot more agile. Fire the first two guns off. Definitely know their them shots are missing. So far off my rear two guns when he decides to turn back in. Continue on. And I over Yeah. I over pen. For four twenties over pen work more than the Amado's guns for some really weird reason. So I fish around the island hoping to get the kill. Nearly get rammed by the Zabuki. Actually, I think he does ram me. Does he not? Same thing. He's gonna knock my shots off here if he rounds me. I think he does actually. Line up the shot. Yeah, he does ram me too. Just came up there and think he does ram me. I feel like a full broadside. I'm a really lucky fucker. Really lucky folly that one of the shots aside the land in Citadel. I was like, what the fuck moment? First blood. 13k damage. Not gonna complain, I'll take that happy happily. Damn well, I'm sure I'll take that happily. So I see the Neptune over there. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass for me. Now that I zoom him. As you can see he's up there being a bit of a threat to me. Zoom in. I heard to give a pile of lead in the Neptune because of how fast it is, but then I realised, oh shit, it's actually stopping, and it's smoking, so take a couple of shots there to see if the test my luck to see if it will land there. Thankfully my luck paid off and RNG Jesus was grateful to me and very good and gave me a Citadel and an overpen. Thank goodness, RNG Jesus. Now this a boogie isn't too, well, yeah, RNG Jesus punished him. He got punished for his transgressions against RNG Jesus. As you can see, devastating strike by the Neptune on. Neptune got punished as well by the fucking torpedoes everywhere by the Shimikaze, alright? Now, this Izumu is a bit. He knows how to play it well when he's retreating. I've only ever played the Izumu. I've never tried playing it like this. I've only ever played it when going onto the target. I've always just. Guns forward, aiming forward, shoot first, tank all you can, 
dish out the damage and hold the point until you get smoked or until you die essentially. No, it's not always the best way to play battleships, but it's a really fun way to play. There goes my A. All the shots. Fire out. Just watching the fleet planes fall and the wee fucking like firecrackers going off. It sounds like it sounds like Chinese New Year all over again. Like firecrackers everywhere. Might be a fucking Halloween our school. Fucking bottle rockers across the fucking classroom. Fucking great fun. Now bring the background. Our school is a pile of fucking headers. I used to throw bottle rockets down the fucking hallway and everything. But it was a great school. I, I would love to go back there. I'd love to be. I would love to be back in my teen. Well, back in my early teens, starting school all over. I really miss it. There's so much play responsibility now. Working pen tactics, all that fucking crap, and then there's really politics trying to fuck everything up for you. Even though I studied it. There you go. Oh fuck, I just said Delta Mogami. I was wondering what the third one came from. I said Delta Mogami and kill it. So there's my three, third kills. I've got two more to get. So that's my second one. Two, more, Three more kills to get. I'm getting really lucky this match when it comes to Citadels. Like, first blood. Yeah, I'm happy. I, fucking, I can't complain. It's first blood. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering why the Relentless Camel might not be better off with, like, Ocean Sea. To answer your question, no, because I got a 19 point commander, so I'm getting double deck. I'm getting 5 6 hours in XP on this, plus I'm getting about 20 hours in commander XP that I can use as elite XP. They train up my other commander, so it works out a lot better me doing it, doing it this way. It also means I can convert XP if I need to. There's me taking a couple of more shots in my Zumo. The leap does punish me for this here. I do show far too much in my broadside. And I do get heavily fucking punished by him. One fine. Takes over 20k of me in total. First of all, he takes 15, the second one takes for 5 6 here of care of me. I repair that up, try and get me back into a decent shape. This is, when I, this is when I start getting fucking really irritated by this Xumo. I actually complimented the. Well, I considered using EHE at this point. Well, at the beginning cons to consider. Until I got near that mark, and I decided. I was thinking about it, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to try one more volley of AP. Because I can't. He just angled too fucking well for my AP to go through. For another couple of. Another volley off. They spliced like hell. So dragging the guns back around again on the board. Well, whenever the rear guns decide to come around. Whenever they do, slowly but surely, but you have to admit the ship's bloody gorgeous. <laughs> There's me taunting him, trying to get him to come back to fight me. But I, he didn't fall for it, he just kept going, and just kept going, and kept going, and just kept going until he, well, until I managed to get good a couple of hits on him and take out all his HP. 4,600 out of them. Again, turning around. I think this is where I get good hit on here. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's this volley and the next volley I get a really good volley off of. As you notice, there's a, a DD to my note. If I remember correctly, that's the fence and it's just out of my secondary range. Don't pay much attention to it. No. Get detected again for firing off my big ass guns. Two hits. This is where it was a good hit. It brings him down to 9k. Allows me to finish him quite easily with this fall. Folly goes off. I'm sitting thinking, oh for fuck's sake, I need to fire another fucking folly. And waste my front guns. Oh sorry, it's the next one I decided I need to do. Fuck, I do need to fire off another fall. Fired off, thing I hit the martin. But just just a burp by it. And it's a kill. My third kill. Next there's the gearing up there. That's a bit of a pain in my ass. 
well, not really paying my ass, I was paying everyone else's ass. I decided to try and go for a sneaky fourth kill in the Bismarck, but no luck on that one. And I decided to try and get a double or triple Citadel in the Montana. But, didn't go well. The CV got the CV done, an outstanding job on pulling off a drop on that thing. Don't know how he done it with under so much AA, but he done it. Done another drop. Me thinking I can get, uh, get a Citadel off on. Nope. As soon as I fire, I realize, oh shit, he more than two bombers got through. Three, gro there's three dropped on him, pretty much, as fucked at that one. Now at this point, I go around the corner and I panic a wee bit. I, feel, I really shit myself at this point. Like, the, you'll see why. I'm completely broadside. The fucking DD right over there. And oh, holy Jesus, I'm like a fucking torch going right by me that could just end me. It's time I turn my secondaries on. My, my secondaries are just going pure. They're tearing him a whole uh, complete evil. The look at them secondaries are outstanding. Bang, bang. Close quarters expert. Now I begin racking up the two guns. Tim goes in the gearing. Tries to go, he goes for me again. Trying to get torched off of me. Just sitting knocking down our plane. So much free XP. There we go, another two close quarters experts cracking on leashed. Couldn't fucking believe it. Now I was sitting thinking, you know what, how could this match get any better? Sitting, just moving along. Get more, get a few more shoot downs. Thing. Not too bad, not too bad. I was expecting the enemy DD to come and have a go at me, but turns out he was away on the other side of the map and watched the CV gets him. Is it having the, is it rallying with him? There go there he goes to the Maggie actually. It's him pushing through here. Capture the area. Very a very welcome badge. Another shoot down. And I think it one more shoot down. So far, until the next part. To so continue on, join that there. No kit, an average 94,000 damage. Not too bad. Pretty average. No. This is where I, I really am thankful to RNG. Jesus. RNG Jesus was very good and very, very, very beautiful and bountiful to me when he done this. He was amazing. Just then popping out, mind my own business, wanting to go with Capture C. Then on the horizon there will appear. Come on. On the horizon a wild Essex appears. That shall be punished <laughs> by RN Jesus. Well, then not them, if I remember correctly, them tour bombers don't last long. They really don't. They am punished heavily by RN Jesus. There goes my my well, there goes my AA defensive defenses. Yeah, he's a fighter build if I remember correctly. Oh fuck he just strafed himself there. There he was a fighter build one. Second bomber bombing ray comes in. There's 10 shit downs. Got another fucking payload drop on me, up to 12 now. Not too bad at all this match. Turned out to be a pretty decent game. At this point, I'm still wondering what the fuck why my secondary farm. Until I realized I actually cl accidentally clicked the bomber squadron instead of the bloody ship. I got a confederate. Not bad again. But I really am enjoying this match. Then this is where our Jesus really sign shines. We get another free 36k damage. Pretty much. Bring me up to about 150k. There we go. RN Jesus was very, very good to me today. I fucking love it. I really do love this ship. Not as much as my Yamato. Yamato is heavenly. 
That ship is just divine raw. Though the Minotaur is my favorite ship, it's just that battle of their fucking cuts. Aren't Jesus didn't like me at this point? Because the match ends is on 4k before I got the last couple of shots off the killer. Lady RNG could have got 6 kills there. Broken my car first rec- no car first record, yeah, 6 kills. Like, holy good fuck. It's amazing, that match. <laughs>